One of the things that I think is Croatia's biggest selling point is safety. This is one of the safest countries in Europe. The number of people that have come here and commented how they're amazed that in a European capital city in 2022, 2023, that it's safe to walk around at night with no fear of anything, especially uh, women. There was a big survey recently in uh, Nomad List for digital nomads. Zagreb was one of the top cities where there was a bigger discrepancy between female nomads and male nomads. And one of the main reasons was they felt very, very safe here. But it's safe in terms of that. But also over the years, I've heard incredible stories about people leaving wallets in cafes with lots of money in, coming back two hours later and finding the wallet still there or behind the bar and not, no problem. And my own personal experience of this was um, a really quite strange day I had, a little bit drunken. Uh, I was living in Varajan at the time and I came on the bus to, to Zagreb. I had a, a meeting in a cafe here, I was blogging in a cafe there, I had another thing here and then I went to uh, uh, an office party for a 20 year celebration for a friend of mine. There was a lot of alcohol at the party, I was a little bit drunk and then as I was leaving they said oh take some of the beers, we've got some beers left over. So I opened my uh, laptop bag and I put some beers in. And that was it. And then I took a Uber into town. There was an African restaurant I wanted to try. And as I got out of the uh, the car, one of the bottles fell onto the street and smashed. And I was a bit drunk, I admit. And so I left it and I went to the restaurant and then I went to another bar and I had a meeting and I got on the bus home and I got home at midnight and I was very, very drunk. I remembered to put the beers in the fridge, so I did all that. And then in the morning I woke up at six with a bit of a headache, but I had a writing deadline. So I went to my laptop bag to get my laptop out and it wasn't there. And I was like, where can it be, you know? And so I was so confused that I actually went to the fridge to see if by chance I was so drunk I put the laptop in the fridge, and I hadn't. And so then I contacted every single cafe I'd been to and the office where I'd been to see if I'd left my laptop there. And I thought maybe when they were putting the beers and I took my laptop out, but it wasn't there. A blogger without a laptop is uh, not much of a person. And so I was sitting there thinking, you know, what do I do now? I have to come buy a new computer, but I also haven't backed up a lot of stuff. And so this is a real disaster for me. And then about half an hour later, as I was panicking, I got this Facebook message and it said, have you, uh, have you lost a laptop in Zagreb? And I was, first of all, thrilled because my laptop had been found. And then I was a bit scared because I thought this is now going to be some ransom. They're going to ask for lots and lots of money and stuff. And I was really curious how they actually found me because, you know, my laptop and it doesn't have my name on or anything. And so I wrote back very, cautiously and said, yes, I've lost a laptop. And the guy said, well, um, it was lying in the street in the middle of Zagreb. And uh, so we picked it up and uh, we took it to the cafe. It was a bit, it was a bit um, damaged. We opened it up and your name came up as to, for, for the login. So this is Paul Bradbury's computer. So we Googled Paul Bradbury Croatia and we found you and this is how we contacted you. And I was like, I'm still worried about how much this is going to cost me. And the guy said, and then we fixed it for you. There was a little bit of a problem. We fixed it. And so if you want to collect it, then I work in this comic shop in uh, in central Zagreb, so come by and pick it up. I was so relieved and so grateful, and so I put all the beers back in the computer bag. I drove straight to Zagreb, and I went to meet the guy, and there he was. He just uh, he was just a really really super nice guy. I gave him the beers, he gave me the laptop, and that is not an exceptional story for Croatia. That's that's the crazy thing about it. This is a country where things are very safe in general. People are very, very kind-hearted like that, and I've, I've heard numerous examples of that, but uh, I no longer put beers into my bag, and I always check my laptop before I go to bed.